Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our back. Let's start with the greatest stretch. Five repetitions on each side. The usual, the regular ritual pre-workout. We have to always get it done. Make sure you add dynamic stretching to your pre-workout if you have just started watching my videos. Regardless of whether I do cardio or not, the five minute cardio which usually people do. Don't do an extended cardio. It's not necessary just five to ten minutes to get your heartbeat up and then at least a couple of minutes dynamic stretching before you start lifting weights to make sure your tendons and your joints are properly primed up for the workout and if you have any kind of tightness you can you know kind of identify it before the workout or at least avoid it causing challenges during the workout wherein you face restrictions while moving good amount of weight now, after completing the greatest stretch, I do my mandatory deep squat for the day. Sit in a deep squat for at least few seconds. Stay there, feel the hip stretch, feel the glutes work, feel a little bit of ankle mobility. All these things will help us throughout the workout. Now, for start off with the first exercise, I'm going to do a T-bar row. I've done three sets, 20 repetitions to start off with. And then once I'm done with 20 repetitions, I slightly stand up slightly not really much get my upper traps and mid traps more involved and move the weight using them right now i'm using my lats to move the weight and then after 20 repetitions i use my mid trap region to move the weight now you have to make sure the weight allows you to completely stretch your arms out and you drive the weight back up towards your chest using your elbows and go slow make sure you control the weight don't let the weight just drop down Control the weight as it goes down. Feel the stretch happening in your lat muscles. I prefer to use smaller plates even though if I can lift heavier but I prefer to use smaller plates because it gives me a lot more depth. But if you want to have bigger plates and in your gym there are no small plates. All the plates are the big ones. You can always use a step up box under your feet to give you a little bit more depth while doing the exercise. So you can place even if the step up box is not available you can have a couple of plates under your feet. To give you a little more more depth while doing the row if you have a t-bar equipment or the machine in your gym that's well and good you can use that to do the exercise now after completing t-bar rows i moved on to my lower back extensions i prefer doing it on an inclined bench because somehow i feel a little bit more connection on my lower back and glutes i don't feel much of uh i would say uncomfortable otherwise using a regular extension machine so i prefer to do it this way you can also try this particular setup. I just increase the increment of a bench by one level and then lay on the incline with my legs completely hanging out. And from there, I try to extend my back as straight as possible. Not overextend, just get into a straight line. Here you can see I also added a little bit of resistance. So I tried using a dumbbell, but I was not able to balance it. But the resistance band did the job. I just put a resistance band, tied it up with the bench and just pushed it forward i was watching myself doing the exercise just to make sure that i'm not overextending my back i'm just trying to get in a straight posture while pushing my legs up using my glutes and also a little bit of my hip strength to get the lower back you know completely contract and extend now make sure you go very slow and study about the exercise you don't want to just you know push your legs extremely hard because you won't be able to control the motion then it will affect it'll do more harm than good to your lower back for my next exercise i'm going to do cable rows three sets 15 plus pause repetitions wherein we pile up another 20 repetitions you in 5 5 rep interval here we have to use the spinal flexion and extension to get most out of our back so when i'm releasing the weight i keep my elbows bent completely use my spinal flexion to go as forward as possible almost touching almost not almost actually touching my knees with my head and then let the weight stretch my lats out and from there I pull it back while keeping my elbows in a fixed bent position so I never let my elbows completely extend or tighten up so my bicep involvement is very less my forearms are just working in terms of holding the bar make sure you try to extend as much as possible and also flex as much as possible as you can see Every repetition, I drive my elbows as far behind as possible so that the rod almost comes and touches my abdomen and that's where it stops. So 
there is no more space for my elbows to go behind now if you're doing a single land row yes you can turn a little bit get more work done either ways it's your preference if you don't prefer you can do using a single hand and it will give you a little bit more range of motion i mix it up once in a while i do single hand once in a while i use both my hands just make sure you get those three sets with 15 repetitions now for my next exercise i have chosen to do a super set because i realized my workouts were getting a little bit lengthy so what i have done is i have clubbed my calf raises and lat pullovers so i was going one after other without taking a break in between the exercises so i do 20 repetitions of calf races and then immediately switch to lat pullovers now for calf races it's your choice you can go with standing calf races you can go with seated calf races you can go with the leg press calf races you can do the donkey calf races whichever you choose to do but make sure the weight is challenging make sure you go through the entire range of motion and also control your calf raises as much as possible feel the stretch the stretch is the most important part the more you stretch and then from there you contract the more growth happens so that's how you have to approach it once i'm done with the calf raises i immediately sh shifted to lat pullovers on the cable machine it's pretty easy exercise to set it up just put an inclined bench in front of a cable machine and with your elbows slightly bent not completely straight not bent slightly bent so that you know your triceps are not doing the majority of pushing down motion and we are not in fact you will feel a little bit of activation of your triceps thanks to the way they are connected where they are you know there's insertion points of your lat muscle in your triceps you will feel a little bit of tricep contraction but not much so use your lats drive with your elbows again so you're trying to drive with your elbows all the way down using your lats the weight down and touch your legs as much as possible as you can see come down all the way get the maximum contraction and then stretch out maximum after completing those i moved on to shrugs using a smith machine now smith machine because i was tired and i was using straps to just ensure that i get all my reps out as much as possible 12 to 15 repetitions with a good challenging amount of weight we don't want to you know go less weight more repetitions we just want to finish off at a high so rack a weight wherein you can fail at 12 to 15 repetitions hold the bar as wide as possible slightly tuck your chin in and try to drive your shoulders towards your ears and that's about it it's easy as that the bar is not going anywhere far because using a smith machine so here you can see from behind how my traps are doing the work in terms of getting my shoulders high up make sure you take 45 to 60 seconds break in between yes it might be a little bit tiring so i definitely suggest using gloves or straps because that would make sure that you don't compromise on the number of repetitions you can achieve because your grip strength has given up way before your trap muscles now this we have almost covered all our muscles from top to down in our back so i think that's more than enough for today we are going to close off with a regular vertical hang to just stretch out our upper back and also make our forearms work a little bit thank you so much for joining me i hope the workout was really good and you know you can feel the soreness after a day or two make sure you drop a like if you did like the workout we are way into this journey and it's just going to keep on getting better and better as we keep improving on our strength and also please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed because this is a continuous journey it's going to keep on going and we are going to keep on innovate on our workout routines thank you again i will see you in the next video have a good day